Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Hunt Club Farm Facebook Live. We'll get started in just a minute and let all of our friends join us this morning. Hey, Jen, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well at home. Awesome, we'll get started in just a minute. If you guys are just joining us, go ahead and click that share button. Let's get as many of our friends in here as possible. Let them know the fun experiments and times that we have every day at 11 a.m. We're gonna start in just a minute by looking at yesterday's experiment. I was actually shocked when I walked into the office this morning Something happened and something changed. Hey, Brielle. I guess Brayden has class today, this morning. You're welcome, Jen. I'm enjoying these projects with everyone. All right, we'll give it one more minute and we'll get started. How's everyone's week been? Busy working from home, kids doing their classes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Conrad. I've been behind the camera for most of the time during the Facebook Lives at 11 a.m. But during the experiments, of course, I do have to be in front of the camera. So we're actually gonna start by looking at yesterday's experiment. I didn't tell the kids much about the experiment just because that will be tomorrow where we discuss. I just wanted everyone to see how their egg looks day by day. So I'm gonna show you what I walked into this morning. I made a mistake. I put the lids on the mason jars, which was a no-no, because when the vinegar reacts with the egg and then the outside membrane and shell, it releases the gases. So there was a little pop last night, and then I came in and I'll show you. They will still work. I don't think I'll be able to bounce them though. So as you can see, all of that vinegar, all of those bubbles, it's actually working and breaking that shell away. So this one is the farm. As you can see, it looks like it has a little embryo in there. And then this one right here is the store-bought one. So I will drop another egg in the vinegar, although it will be about 24 hours behind. They are called experiments though, because everyone's is gonna turn out differently. So the kids' eggs might look better this week, but we'll just have to see. Make sure you're sharing photos and videos of the kids watching with us. I'd love to post them on social media and just see them. So here are the experiments from yesterday. And we'll check back in with these tomorrow. And it is called a rubber egg experiment. I don't know why I'm putting the lid back on it. <laughs> All right, I'll just set those right there. So what you're supposed to do after anywhere from two to four days, you're supposed to take it, drop it about a foot off of a table, off of the ground, and then it's supposed to bounce up and not really break. All of that vinegar gets sucked inside of the egg so that it expands. So we'll see how mine go. And I, of course, want to see everyone's at home. Hey, Paul, glad you're doing better. All right, so we'll get started with today's experiment. I want everyone to grab a jar, a mason jar, any type of jar with a lid that you are able to shake. 
for about 15 minutes. And yes, I did say 15 minutes. <laughs> Some heavy whipping cream. We will need about a cup of that. And then there's two ways that this can go. This can either turn into a whipped cream or a butter. It just depends. It is my first time. A lot of people on their first time, it turns straight to butter. So we'll see. I am going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla and then of course about one to two tablespoons of sugar just in case it does turn into that whipped cream. But hey, it would be fun to make butter this morning. So we are going to go for both. Hey Paul, that is actually the egg. So we dropped them in vinegar yesterday, as you can see. Hey, Jared. That's just the yolk from the cracked egg. When it did do a little explosion, the egg yolk came out and the tops right here was a little dented. And Jared, you can actually Every five minutes we will stop. So about that five minute mark, it's up to you whether you do wanna go up to the 15 minutes for butter or stop for that whipped cream. So I want everyone to take their jar and open it up. And then grab that heavy whipping cream, give it a good little shake. And then if you do have a measuring spoon, that is fine, or a measuring cup, we need about one cup of the heavy whipping cream. And on my mason jars here, it does have, right there is one cup. So about halfway for me. I did go ahead and freeze my mason jar when I did get to work around nine o'clock this morning and took it out, out about 10.30. So we have been outside, so it is not that chilled anymore. All right, and then I'm gonna do just maybe a teaspoon or so of vanilla extract. And we are reaching a time where everyone's in quarantine and social distancing and stores are limiting the amount of people that can go into them. So if you do need a good way to substitute what you do for recipes, Paula Dean actually did a Facebook Live yesterday and it was all about substitutions. So anything and everything you could think of she was talking about, go ahead and Google it or hop on Paula Dean's Facebook Live. It was really awesome to watch her yesterday because I personally ran out of a few things so I was able to substitute for dinner last night. Hey Madison, welcome. So now we're gonna add about one to two tablespoons of sugar, just because I do wanna try for the whipped cream portion. All right. So if you're just joining us, we are making either whipped cream or butter. In here, I do have one cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon, of vanilla extract and I also did put in one to two tablespoons of sugar of course I didn't measure it out I just eyeballed it so now what we're gonna do is set our timer so everyone will wait just a minute for everyone to catch up put your lid on it and let's hold off for just a minute and we'll start our first round of shaking for about five minutes If you guys are participating at home, make sure to comment below so I can see it and interact with you guys. Good morning. All right. So let's see. It is 11.10 now, so we're gonna shake till about 11.15 and then we'll check back in. Oh yeah. Whipped cream and then butter. <laughs> Kaylee was walking by this morning. A lot of you guys remember her. All right, so we are just gonna shake, 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 shake. 
Just gonna keep shaking and we'll walk around the petting farm this morning. Your little ones, they will get tired really easy to begin with. We'll go check on these goats right here. So if they need a break, go ahead and grab that container and we'll check back in at 11.15. All of our mama goats and baby goats moved right over here. Hey Jared, things are going great on the farm. We are still here working every day, getting ready for everyone's return, hopefully in June, if not sooner. So what makes it turn to butter are those fat molecules in the heavy whipping cream. And the more and more that you shake it, those fat molecules are going to stick together. Great morning workout, Jessica. <laughs> I was not expecting this much shaking this morning. Would you like to shake this for a minute? I'll go grab embers now. I got tired. I passed it off to Kaylee. I'm going to go grab Ember really quick. <laughs> Almost slipped in the mud. So this is Ember. Kaylee's been raising her since about birth and bottle feeding her. If you guys remember, the baby goat in the diapers in the office. All right, and we got two more minutes of shaking, so shake, 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 and we'll check in in just a minute. Shake, shaking, shaking. Hi, goat. There we go. And as you're shaking, you should feel it to start getting a little more thicker that you won't be able to hear any of that liquid anymore. So Jared, this is the point where you might want to stop shaking if you do want that whipped cream. You can just see in just a minute, depending how hard you're shaking, who's shaking. <laughs> All right, we got one more minute. And then we'll head back over and check it out. And then we'll see who wants to go forward and see if it actually turns into butter or the heavy cream, the whipped cream. It's a good workout this morning on the farm. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Tiki. Hi, Tiki. All right. Let's say goodbye to the baby goats. We're going to head on over. There's Kaylee. Hey, Claire. Thanks for finally watching. All right. So let's check it out. Everyone take those lids off. Let's check it out. Wow. Look at that. So it is a nice, mmm. That vanilla really, really made it sweet and nice along with the sugar. I would actually use this for a pie. So I might be making this for Easter if we do have maybe an apple pie or a peach pie. I would actually use this as the whipping cream. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the lid back on it and we're gonna go for another five minutes. I do wanna see it turn into that butter. So about 11.20.
Mariana, happy Easter to you too. So just keep going till about 11, 20, another five minutes. So Jared, there's that whipped cream if you do want that whipped cream. So it takes about five minutes to get that whipped consistency. And that is a constant five minutes of shaking. If you're just joining, welcome. Today's experiment is either whipped cream or butter. Very simple. For the butter, you will simply just need about a cup of heavy whipping cream. And then if you do want to make the whipped cream, we put a cup of the heavy whipping cream. We also put about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then one to two tablespoons of the sugar. So go ahead and comment below and make sure to share this post if you're just joining us this morning. We are live every day, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. for educational Facebook Lives. And of course, if we did have cows on the farm, I would actually be using cow milk or goat milk. But today we are using the heavy whip, whipping cream. Getting a little out of breath now. Hey Paul, you need to try this at home. Very easy for your daughter to join in on the fun. Oh, wow. Let's take a look. I still have another three minutes to go. Look how awesome that is. So no, no more liquid. It's starting to get a little chunkier. So like I said, these are those fat molecules and that heavy whipping cream. They're banding together right now. So all of the shaking is clumping them together. And what we're, we are just, ooh, we are just gonna keep going this morning. And let's see what type of butter we can get for our Easter rolls. So I know all the moms and grandmas out there love making rolls for the family. A big basket, whether it's 10, 20, 30. So this is actually the butter that you could use on the rolls. I know I would use the whipped cream that I just made. If you guys are joining us this morning, make sure to take pictures or videos and tag us on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see and watch with everyone. All right, we have another two minutes, so keep going, keep going. You guys got it. We're gonna keep shaking over our shoulders, <laughs> above our head, below our waist. All right, so now we're in the middle point where it stopped being that whipped cream and now it's transforming all of those fat molecules over to the butter. All right, since all the gyms are closed, these are fun experiments for the kids, but also the parents, you get to work out too. All right, we got one more minute. Keep going, everyone. You guys got it. You're doing awesome this morning. We miss everyone on the farm. We wish you were with us, but this is a fun and interactive way of being here virtually. All right, about 30 seconds. I know mine's gonna turn to butter during that last five minutes. Paul, I'm glad your daughter's loving this. All right, let's see. Bam, there we go, 1120. All right, everyone freeze, hands up, hands up, hands up. Let's open those jars. Let's see what we have. So as you can see, I do have a little liquid. A majority of this is that butter though. If you guys can see right there is the clumpy and then I still do have all of that liquid that I do need to shake. So this is actually gonna transform all into butter during the last five minutes.
All right, happy Easter, Kimberly. We'll get a live stream up of the babies later today for everyone. All right, it's been quite the workout already on the farm this morning. Five more minutes is all we need. So let's get that whipped cream all the way to the butter. And five more minutes, all right. There we go, three, two, one, go. All right, let's shake, shake, shake. We got five more minutes to go. Hey Donna, we can't wait to see you on the farm. And yes, Kimberly, the liquid right now is that buttermilk. We love our baby goats. They are such therapy. I love being able to take a little 15 minute lunch break every day and go to see them. All right, I think I'm gonna be ready for an afternoon nap when I get home from work this afternoon. Before bedtime stories, whew is quite the workout. I haven't been in the gym in a couple of weeks, of course, since everything's closed. All right, so Paul has liquid too and lots of clumps. So let's see what happens during the last five minutes of this. <laughs> Kaylee's been watching me the last 10 to 12 minutes, just shaking, shaking, shaking. All right, so if you're just joining us this morning, welcome to the Hunt Club Farm Facebook page. It may look a little awkward right now since I have been shaken as you're scrolling through your news feed, but that's because we're actually doing experiments. Yesterday we did our rubber egg experiment. We had a little variations in ours here on the farm due to the vinegar and all of the gases, which cracked our egg, but it's still going good. Hey Kit, thanks for joining. <laughs> Email that to the office, Jared. <laughs> so if you are just joining, here's the rubber egg experiment from yesterday. Today we are making whipped cream. So it is one cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla, and one and two tablespoons of sugar. Shake it for five minutes and you will have your heavy cream. Shake it for another five and you'll have a buttermilk consistency, half milky and half buttery. And then shake it for the full 15. We are in our last set of five minutes of shaking. So we are gonna see if this turns into that nice clumpy butter. Oh yes. I'm getting a nice big clump now. So keep shaking, keep shaking. We have about two more minutes of shaking. If you're just joining us, go ahead and share this post for us. We want as many friends to join us every day at 11 a.m. for more fun farm experiments and to hang out on the farm virtually while everyone's at home practicing social distancing. All right, come on guys, we got this last two minutes. Jump, jump. <laughs> All right, if your little ones haven't <laughs> given up by now, they are troopers. We are in our last minute and I am out of breath. My arms hurt so much, but we are getting this butter made today. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. I'm gonna go home, shower to get all of these germs off of me and take a nap before bedtime stories. All right, so it has been that five minutes, so we are gonna check it. Let's just see where we're at right now. All right. 
I'd have to say that actually looks good for 15 minutes. So we do have some of that liquid. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of mine out. But other than that, this is a nice butter. I'd probably shake mine for another couple minutes to see if that liquid absorbs into that butter. Mmm. And again, I did add vanilla and sugar to mine, so mine's gonna be a sweeter butter. But I would use this on my Easter rolls. Yes, Paul. It is a long 15 minutes. But of course it is well deserved because now everyone knows how to make whipped cream and butter for Easter. You don't have to go to the store if you don't need to. And when you do, make sure to grab all of your groceries in one trip, practice social distancing. All right, we'll shake for about two to three more minutes before we hop off and let's see if it does turn to more buttery consistency. Tomorrow, Make sure you do pay attention today. We will be releasing the ingredients for tomorrow. Most people have them. We are going to be making ice cream in a bag. So make sure to get the kids at, up and ready by 11 a.m. again. We will be making ice cream in a bag. I personally have never made it, but I cannot wait. There are so many fun things that we can do with the kids while at home. Hey Donna, so this will keep for about, I'd say five to seven days in the refrigerator. Definitely want to make sure to label it, whether it's tape or on the jar. Just put expiration date, I'd say five to be safe. But typically about a week in the refrigerator, this butter or the whipped cream can last. I know the whipped cream would last maybe 30 seconds in my house because we would be eating it, it is that good. Well, I personally have never done this before, so I can't say whether it will settle or not. I believe it will settle just a little. A lot of people do take it out of the extra whipping cream, the heavy cream, and they just simply put it into a bowl with some saran wrap and then right into the refrigerator. All right, we'll check it in one minute. I do have some announcements I do want to go over. The last day for a discount for summer camp, one of the bigger discounts, early registration discount is April 13th. Be sure to go on our website. Under that education tab is the summer camp link. Everything you could possibly want to ask is on that page. You are also able to call the office at 757 427-9520. Ask us questions about summer camp, whether your child has been or not. The Also what we do kind of a day by day is on the website, dates, pricing, times, what's included and what they do need to bring. Spaces are filling up, but we do have room for every week for the 10 week program that we do have here. It is $350 and our new Addition, we haven't released it yet, but that will also be included in the summer camp. And last but not least, we are gonna have a huge announcement, different from the one right over here that I just mentioned, but we are gonna have a web store. So our web store is gonna be updated in the next couple of weeks, but right now we put everything from jams to jellies to cider t-shirts and sweatshirts are going to be going up on the website. So be sure to head over to our website and click the buy tickets tab. You'll be able to see our marketplace on there and all of the different items that you would buy from our market during the season normally. Unfortunately, this year we will not have plants. So how the online market is going to work is you'll order online. You'll simply pull up to the parking lot. You can either call us to let us know you're here or you'll just come up to one of our outdoor windows and we'll hand you the products that you did buy. So you're still able to support local businesses and agricultural businesses like us during these times. All right, so let's go ahead and check on this. There we go. So I'd say a good 20 minute shake and you will have some nice butter.
So it is firming up the more that you shake it. It has, it has been about 20 minutes of shaking. So we do have that nice thick piece of butter. And like I said, most people take it out of this container to separate it from the rest of the milk and put it into the refrigerator. So thank you so much for joining us today for another educational Facebook Live video here on the farm. We will be having a live stream around 2, uh, 2 to 30 today. But be sure to join us for Bedtime Stories with Conrad at 8 p.m. And if you can't join us, we'll see you back here tomorrow on the farm at 11 a.m. on Facebook Live. We will be having another experiment. This one is ice cream in a bag. So be sure to tune into Facebook today for the list of ingredients. Most of them you should have at home so that you don't have to go to the store during times like these. So I hope everyone enjoyed today's experiment. Comment below pictures of you or your children doing the experiment and we'll see everyone later. Have a great day.